Shit, I'm gonna make a run for it. <laughs> I got caught. It is crazy. I got caught out here in this chunk. It's gonna be blowing pretty good, I think, here in a second. Yeah. It had nothing on the radar at all, and I could hear like the lightning and, and hear like the thunder, but it had nothing on the radar. And now it's like hammering. Yeah, these are awesome. Good thing for this little cover. Hope I don't blow away. It's a tin roof. <laughs> oh man, your boy may not make it out of this one. This is kind of sketchy. This is really sketchy, dog. I ain't even gonna lie. What is up? What is up? What is going on? Welcome back, Texas All Water Fishing. I am Ruben, and uh, we are going fishing. It is about 8.20 at night. We have a front that is coming in, and we have a um, we have a new moon. So what that means, and it's 8.20 in, at night, and what that means is that when you have a, a, a new moon is that the... There, there's not a whole lot of light outside as far as moonlight goes. What can happen is that when you're fishing at nighttime, you're fishing around these lights. That's the only light that the bait area at. That's the only light that these fish are feeding at. So you can see right here, we're going to have the system. And it's going to slowly, slowly come down and come our way. And I'm hoping to get enough fish pre-front. So this is pre-front. I'm a fish pre-front. So I'm hoping to get, uh, get on the fish before yeah before it gets to me so fingers crossed wish me luck i'm gonna be doing a little bit of night fishing from a private dock stay up all night gotta work now make up my mind and it turns around say that i'm fine till i burn out thinking this money sounded so nice ambush here in the strong lights Life feels like the sunny water Wet my lips by You're burning my spot! Get away from my dog! Now watch that hatch That right there starts it all, that little shit there Is when they start Let that bitch sink to the bottom Those reds, bro, at these fish will try everything are on the bottom Yeah And then when that starts moving around that bait starts moving they push it up and then you start seeing on the bait everywhere and seeing shrimp popping and they go into frenzy them trout are smart man i watch them i come out just watching them go what the f they're working like a school twos and threes yeah they come up sideways and they they and then they go pop pop mm -hmm. they get one two and they're, they're the ones doing a circle they one and they're like orchestrating the, the kill i'm like what do you see that mm -mm, i didn't see it big silver flash right there Ooh, come on, B. First fish of the night. Where's your, where's your net? No net. Get on this side. Need better light. Woo! It's a nice trout. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's a nice trout. Oh, you foul hooked him. No, he hit it. No, I know, but I, he, he's foul hooked right now. He, he's going to pull it out. You don't have a net? I'll get him. Put your water out. No, these dog shit out of it. This is going to pull. Trout? That's a good trout. Ooh, my Watch out, pup. Move, move. Watch out, pup. Oh, Watch out, pup. Come on, move out the way. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Stay right here. Stay right here. Good boy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, that's, that's a good trout. trout. Dude. You just put that on too. That's what I'm talking about. 
That's what I'm talking about. Dang it, look at that hook. Dude, that's all rusted out. The go 19. 19 incher. Look at that belly. Oh, he's good. That's that. See, he hit the front of it, and then that, that trailing hook got him. In got him. The, look, there's the mouth. That's where he got him in the mouth right yeah. here. Yeah. Got him in the mouth there. He broke loose from that, and then head got caught in the belly. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're kind of a little early. See a bunch of little crab down there. Bunch of little small, tiny little bait fish. Nothing's popping yet. It's a little early. Probably like between like like super super one, two, three in the morning, but we got the storm coming, so I'm not gonna stick around too too late and get hit by the storm on the way home. I hope to at least get a couple before the storm comes up. And now just tossing a rattle trap. Come let it sink down to the bottom. See if I can hook up to one. We have the storm that's going to be coming from the northeast. We have the winds that are coming this way. And I want to say... I want to say we should have... Oh, that is a huge shrimp. Oh my gosh, that's a big shrimp. Dang, that's a big shrimp. That thing was huge. He was running from something. Let me swim by. I don't know what the tide is doing. Tide looks kind of low. So hopefully this tide starts coming back in. It starts pushing the stuff back in. Oops, somebody just popped it. So, whoop, whoop. The big old shrimp. Look at that big old shrimp. Holy. The second big old shrimp. Right there. Just had a big trout come up and whack it right at the surface. Just slow retrieving it. Shrimp style, little. It's not chicken boy. It's old school. Don't even make them anymore. It's like that. It's just a shrimp mantis though, but he came up and whacked it. Bop. And that whack I've already felt like three or four times, just not committing. I felt it on different lures. So at first I thought it was, you know, sand trout, something smaller. But I've had that hit on the rattle trap and on the voodoo shrimp as well. This time I saw him. He came all the way up. He was a nice big, nice big, uh, nice big trout. Alright, so I can't figure out what they want. I think I'm gonna try to go with the smaller profile bait. I'm using a pretty good sized rattle trap. I have some other rattle traps in here too, but I think I'm gonna go with the just a little smaller profile like that. Smaller profile like a mirror lure. Just to uh just to see if maybe that's what they want. I know a lot of it is uh, just putting it across their face, but you know, sometimes it's just a profile. They're just being picky and they want to see something smaller. Alright, so here's the uh, mirror lure. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they like that a little, a little more. If it's more eye appealing to them. Ooh, I saw a trout chasing it. He was right there. Dang it, I saw him swim by. There we go. Oh, he got off. Dang it, I had him. Had him, he got off. Dang it, that was nice. Little guy, but he was there. See, sometimes you gotta just keep switching and switching. Switching and switching. Since sometimes the bite just turns on. A lot of times these schools of fish they'll move in and out the area. So they might be here for 15-20 minutes. You'll catch a few and then they'll keep swimming around and then you gotta wait another half hour, 15-20 minutes for them to come back through again. But that was good. Nice 
high spec right there again. Just hit it again right there. Dang, just won't take it. Just bump. There we go. Oh, he got off. Dang it, he got off. Man, I just can't catch a break, bro. Ah, dang it. He hit it. Dang it, I can't believe he's not there. He stopped me. He stopped me in my tracks. Yeah. He stopped me in my tracks. Pop, came up and popped it. Not committing. Even when I put the smaller profile, I didn't get any hits at all. So I don't understand. I don't understand. I need a light of Jesus candle or something. There you go, got that one. <laughs> he came off too and he's right there. I know these hooks are sharp. Let me check my hooks. I know they're sharp. Ouch. 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 Golly. They're not even giving me a chance to set the hook before they're coming off. Let's chase it again. I saw him. As soon as I slow down, he stopped. I think I need some scent on these lures. I think that's what it is. I think that's what's keeping me from doing, from getting really hooking up. I need some scent on these lures, I think. I don't have any. There we go. That is a speckler. Uh-uh, uh-uh, doggy. Don't get a puppy. There's a little baby speckler. But nevertheless, it is a speckler. Oh, come on. Come on. There he goes. Little speckle trout. <sighs> I waited all day for you. You're so beautiful. Goodness gracious. <laughs> oh my god, it's been a long time coming. Ooh, look at that lightning. That's not the on the radar. That's not on the radar. <laughs> that stuff's not on the radar. I don't think it's doing... I think it's just a pop-up shower and it's not on the radar. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not on the radar. coming from over here too. It's like here and here. Dang it. Kind of nervous. Don't want to be glowing in the dark. Oh. <laughs> oh. Another one. Hit it. He hit it again. I just got hit twice on that one. Golly, what is going on? I just can't catch a break, man. I just can't catch a break. Here comes the rain. That was not supposed to be coming. Is that hell? I hear it. See, there's no rain out here. But there it is. Here it is. Not supposed to be any. Nothing on the radar. There's like literally nothing on the radar right here. I mean, it's all around me. You can hear the disturbance. But you got nothing on the radar. 
like almost one in the morning. As you can see, you can see where I'm at. Oh, well, now there is. Now it's on the radar. Now it just popped up. It just popped up right now. Pretty gnarly. I got no rain jacket. I said I'm gonna make a run for it. <laughs> I got caught. It is crazy. I got caught out here in this chunk. It's gonna be blowing pretty good, I think, here in a second. Yeah. It had nothing on the radar at all, and I could hear like the lightning and, and hear like the thunder, but it had nothing on the radar. And now it's like hammering. Yeah, this is awesome. I don't really feel like getting drenched. Don't have a rain jack with me, so I'm not gonna make a run for it. You just hear how loud it is. Just chilling. Good thing for this little cover. Hope I don't blow away. It's a tin roof. <laughs> oh man, your boy may not make it out of this one. This is kind of sketchy. This is really sketchy, dog. I ain't even gonna lie, it's Billy Ray's boat. It's Billy Ray's boat. It's soaked, it's getting rained on. They got a little bit of leak right here coming out. Yeah. We try, we work, man. It is coming down now. Ooh. Got a little dry spot right here. It's getting all wet right there. Yeah. I got like one little dry spot that I'm standing in. You can see it just pouring down now. Dang it! It's, it, it showed nothing on the radar. I can hear the thunderstorm, but I'm like, all right. All right, lightning, all right, thunder. Thunderstorm right here, bam. And there goes the trout. Now the fresh water hits and the trout are gone and then gone. Like they're, they'll high, they'll high tell it out. And there was my bite. There was a little bit of a bite that I was getting. A little bit of bite that I was getting. I guarantee you it's gone now. As soon as the shower passes, it's gonna be no more fish and and it's tough because you know I could see them and I could see them coming up I could see them coming up but they just weren't cooperating they just weren't like hanging on like really latching on and uh, yeah it's just tough it is one of those things right so we have this pre front that's coming so I'm, I'm we have a front that's coming so I'm pre front fishing and that could trigger a lot of bites then we have a new moon so like the lights around these neighborhoods is really the only light that the fish see so I really should be on the fish and uh, they're just being picky. They're not, you know, they weren't committing and uh, and I could just be at the wrong spot. A lot of times it is location. Um, they may be biting further up the channel. They may be biting in the next, you know, subdivision or the next cove and, and where I'm at, they're just not cooperating. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is tough. That light just went out. Yeah, this is tough. Just lost that light. We're in the middle of it. This is funny. Oh, that light just shut off too. 